No, but the thing is that he was very clear and emphatic even in government's um, work in the digitization uh, agenda in terms of all the various sectors of the economy that we have touched. And that is actually making the work of government and the whole governance system more efficient and effective in terms of the uh, saving of time, efficiency, ease, uh, cutting corruption. All of these things are indicators for the youth. And if you have any uh, demographic that will have a certain understanding of these things, it would actually be the youth because they are actually more receptive when it comes to modern technology, right? And so, yes, you see, the same people would say that, oh, why is he talking about digitalization rather than the economy? But we are, and they forget, and that's how ignorant they can be. We are in a global digital economy. The world has moved on, right? And even if you take almost everything, the biggest companies today are technology companies. Now, some of the biggest companies in the world have moved to the metaverse. Something is totally different with connectivity and out. So if you actually lag behind, then what it means is that you're actually going to leave your people behind. Your economy is going to lag behind. And so we don't have a choice. He spoke about interoperability. And you see, because we are enjoying it, sometimes we take some of these things for granted. It's probably the single most sophisticated interoperability system in the world. Right? And I know that because I, 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 I play in that space. Right? To the point that the US Central Bank, even the UK Central Bank, they still use a switch. And if you understand technology a little bit, sometimes when they have to do a particular transaction, they have to actually move one switch and put it in another to actually enable that particular transaction. Here in Ghana today, you have the benefit of interoperability system. And what it does for an economy, some of these things are very soft, intangible uh, uh, things, right? So hitherto, if somebody was, say, in Accra, Agbogloshi, somewhere wants to purchase uh, yam from uh, Salaga market, they had to sit literally physically in a vehicle and go all the way to Salaga with all the attendant challenges and problems that comes with. So all of these things have a way of actually contributing to the, the growth in, in, in an economy.